Hey guys, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. A couple of days ago, we did a Town Hall 13 Queen Charge Minor, Queen Charge Lalo attack strategy video. And now we're going to be looking at Town Hall 11. See how it sort of differs and how much stronger or less strong it is against the Town Hall 12 version. So we are looking at another war, the same war as the last video, YM Academy versus Recordo. So what we have here is the Queen Charge, Lalo of course, this time with the Jump Spell and the Queen Charge going straight into the Inferno Tower and then eventually going to get to the Eagle Artillery and a Sweeper and eventually the Queen is the goal. So it's going to be a pretty long Queen Charge, but as you can see from the timer at the bottom of the screen it already been it's already been uh there's only two minutes left in the raid so it goes pretty quick that is due to the amount of minions in the raid and sort of like how your lava pups are actually able to survive so now queen is dealing with the cc and the eagle artillery activates on the queen i believe because she's just outside of the range of outside of the range that the Eagle Artillery can't hit. So there's a little dead zone where the Archer, where the Eagle Artillery can't hit the Archer Queen. And that's like basically how far that goes is around how far the Queen's range is when attacking. So um, if she's just slightly out of range, she's actually able to be attacked by the uh, eagle artillery which is a good thing when you don't want the eagle artillery to attack the healers so now the lalo comes in uh, the entire lalo basically comes in from the top along with the air warden and the stone slammer the stone slammer is going to have loons in it and that'll help out the loons quite a bit on the backside. so free spell over the air defense and the inferno tower when you're building a base you might want to keep those air defenses outside of range of freeze along with key defenses like the Inferno Tower or Scattershot at Town 13 or Eagle Artillery also. So this Stone Slammer is also going to, almost going to survive the entire raid by itself. So really GG and really crush that base as we're going to see from a lot of these attacks. These YM guys are really experts in the field of Queen Charge Lalo. They've been doing it all the time. It's been a meta attack basically since sort of like years, really. It hasn't really been falling off at all. It's It gets harder and easier by the day, or by the patch, but it's always pretty good. So now we're up against this more compact base, and we have the Expo Farm along with the Eagle Artillery uh, on the Eagle Artillery side. So actually, we're going to try and avoid that a little bit by attacking from the left side of the base. So the queen's going to come in from 8 o'clock, and she's going to go straight into this test farm. Plus, this CC is a dragon and an ice golem, so it's pretty easy to deal with. The EQ goes down on the outside in order to get the queen into the from the in, outside of the base into the inside, and to be able to get into that inferno tower area. So this time he's not going for the Eagle Artillery, it's actually going for the Queen and the Inferno Tower. Along the way there's going to be... Along the way there's going to be... Uh, no Expos, but two Air Defenses I believe. Yeah, there's two Air Defenses... Oh no, there's two Air Defenses by the Eagle and there's another one at 12 o'clock. And he's going to use the Stone Slammer at 9 o'clock in order to clear a couple of outside buildings. And to make the way for the start of the Lalo. So since the air defenses are pretty well spread out um, for the attacker, pretty good. Um, for the defender, not so much. You can start the Lalo at the top of the screen or at the bottom. And the only thing that's really making the choice for him is the sweeper area. So... The queen ends up taking out the sweeper that's pointing up, so he's going to start the lalo from the top side, from the top side, and then end up at the bottom side, uh, going against, or going, not against the sweeper, going from behind the sweeper, the second sweeper. So he's going to take advantage of that, 
and ends up on the Eagle Artillery and the Air Defense is popped by the Queen and the Hound. And Warden ability is basically swagged and that is it for the base. So basically he avoided the Expo Farm by Queen charging the other side of the base, which was also where the enemy Queen was and one of the Sweepers and an Inferno Tower. So it was quite a bit of value, just enough to justify the EQ and having the using the Queen Charge attack strategy instead of something different, something more basic, or uh, some different strategy with a Queen Charge elsewhere. So, great job. Next up, we have Leroy. Or Lerpy. <laughs> Sorry. And this one's going to be slightly different. So, we have the Queen Charge starting at... 8 o'clock, and she's going to be walking for a long way on this base. You're going to notice that she's going to walk into this area with all the walls, sort of in a weird pattern and not really making any compartments, but he still has wall breakers. So what he's going to do is, uh, also, he chose this area because that's where the Tesla farm is. So the queen is taking care of the Tesla farm as well as getting into the base via this uh, weird compartment setup with the walls, or non-compartment setup with the walls. So queen takes, queen takes care of the Tesla farm. King helps out a bit with funneling and taking the queen, helping the queen out with the defenses. So eventually she makes this the way into the cannon area. And so he's not gonna open up that air defense compartment or anything. He's actually going to wait until the queen is all the way inside the base, and he's going to break open the compartment where the eagle is with these wall breakers. That is after taking out a bunch of the other structures around there, so the wall breakers can actually target that compartment. So queen is making her way through the expo farm, and as you notice on the opposite side of the base, there's not really much left. Just a couple of air defenses and two Inferno Towers. He targets the first Inferno Tower with the Stone Slammer, which is always a great idea if you can do that. And if the, the, uh, if the Sweeper's not quite in the way, not quite close enough to make a difference for the... for whether the Stone Slammer can actually get any attacks off. So there's the Wall Breakers, right after the Inferno Tower is taken down. And it's a little bit surprising that they were able to target that wall, even though the... Or, sorry, I just missed something. The wall breakers first targeted that dark elixir storage compartment, and then made their way down to the eagle and broke up in... I think that was two layers of walls down there. Queen's dealing with the enemy king, while the loons are just making their way across the rest of the base, and cleanup is commencing. Probably could have swagged the Rage Spell and the Haste Spell there. Didn't really need it unless he needed it for time. So, that was another great raid by Yolda Mode. So as we can see in the Town Hall 12 versus Town Hall 11, Town Hall 11 only has two Inferno Towers. Town Hall 12 has three, so makes it a little bit harder to do. But in Town Hall 12, in Town Hall 12 setups, there's often... It's often easy to get to two Inferno Towers anyway, because you have three Inferno Towers, and you have the same amount of walls. So it makes it a little bit difficult to build a base where the Inferno Towers aren't reachable in a... where two Inferno Towers aren't reachable in the same Queen Charge. It makes it pretty hard to do that, unless you set up the base in a really particular way. So usually bases are set up so then you could possibly get two Inferno Towers with the same Queen Charge. And now Eco is on his way with another Queen Charge Jump Lalo attack. This time he's going to go into the side of the base where eventually he'll get access to the Queen, uh, Sweeper, Inferno Tower, and the Eagle Artillery. This time the there isn't really an Expo Farm. So it, that makes it really, really safe to do queen charges. 
because if you have four expos on the queen at the same time, it's pretty much rip. You have to use a couple of free spells or the queen ability, depending on how the expos are set up. So she makes her way to the eagle. Next is going to be the queen. And then he has a couple of options with the Lalo. You could either do what he's doing right now, which is target the Inferno Tower with the Stone Slammer, or he could have gone from the right side of the base, and uh, once this Queen took out the Inferno Tower, or the Air Defense, and then he would only have two Air Defenses to deal with, but he would have a back-end uh, Inferno Tower, where he could have dropped the Stone Slammer on it, in order to just clear out that last Inferno Tower and then only have to deal with one in the main portion of the Lalo. But he chose to go from 12 o'clock and he's also bringing a couple of side loons. Um, so he's not dropping every single loon in the initial push as um, early Lalo players might try to do. So he's dropping a couple of loons on the outside to keep a big group into the middle. And now, he's just crushed the rest of the space. There's not much left and like 10 or 15 loons up. Lalo is pretty quick with cleanup, especially if you um, have enough loons left on the back end like Eco had there too. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. I've been Raised Gaming, and I'm out.